Welcome to another Elvis Presley Unraveled. I'm Derek Shelmerdine, author of the book Rock and Roll Unraveled. Before Colonel Parker managed Elvis, he also managed another up-and-coming rock and roller, Tommy Sands. There are so many similarities, it's almost that Tommy Sands was the prototype Elvis. Elvis was two years older, they were very similar in appearance, both played guitar, loved country music and had religious backgrounds. By the time Tommy Sands was 12 years old, he was a featured performer on the Louisiana Hayride, and that's where Elvis established his reputation. Before they met the Colonel, they both released singles on independent record labels. Credited as Little Tommy Sands, The West's Wonder Boy, he released Syrup Sopping Blues coupled with Love Pains on the Freedom label in 1951. And of course Elvis was at Sun Records. They both then signed to RCA. On the 1st of January 1955, Elvis and Tommy Sands played on the same bill at a show in Houston, Texas. Lots more stories on my website, rockandrollunravel.com. And back to you, Steve, and your fabulous Mop Tops and the King show.